lot of carpenters like to rely on a good old carpenter's pencil for all the marking they do on a job. But when I'm doing trim work and uh, siding work and I need a little bit finer line for scribing and whatnot, I go to a number two pencil. And when it breaks and I'm up on a ladder and I don't want to reach for a utility knife or get down and deal with it, I use a tip sent in by Leon Blum from Montana. I've put a, a little basic uh, kid's pencil sharpener down here in one of my tool belt pouches. And all I need to do is give it a couple of twists. I'm ready to go. Now when I hunted around for the kind of pencil sharpener that Liam used, I couldn't find one. Our local uh, five and dime had one of these doubles and the plastic is so thin there wasn't any place to run a screw thread into it. This side was a hollow cavity that just represents the back side of these conical shapes for pencil points. So I filled it with, with wet epoxy and then while the epoxy was still wet I lowered this screw into it. Of course it just sank down in there, held it in place with a little piece of tape let it set up overnight, then the next morning it backed it out and the epoxy had formed a perfect threaded recess for this screw. Now I can drop this uh, little pencil sharpener into this pocket of the tool belt, drill a hole through the side of the leather here, run the screw in there and I've got my uh, pencil sharpener buried in my pocket.